a crucial game tomorrow. Uh, maybe you can just talk about what the morale is like in the room. Yeah, they're all crucial at this point. Um, you know, that's what we've we've been saying all along. Um, exciting to get back back at home. Um, I think we feel good certainly about some things on Wednesday in terms of um, you know, especially in the second half um, you know, when it was still 0-0 and then even after they they were able to get the goal um, and you know, even going down a guy and being able to to push and push and, um, and, and really keep the pressure on them right until the end I mean I thought for me the first half wasn't uh, you know, wasn't perfect, but we, we didn't expect it to be. You know, um, given the, the short turnaround and, and obviously just a lot of things, it would it was um, you know, certainly to be expected that you know it was the, the first half was a little bit uh, you know, not exactly what we wanted. But again, thought the second half was quite good, and for me, it was still uh, it was still a performance that that deserved more. Um, obviously, you know, they they took a really a, a, a broken play, a half chance, and turned it into something, and you give them credit. But other than that, I, I, I still think uh, you know, there's a lot to take from it. Greg talked about uh, wanting to unleash you a little bit more, getting you a little bit more forward, and, and just in the attack. Did you feel I don't know, that you were given license to do that on, on Wednesday? Did you get forward as, as offered as you would have liked? Or? It's always the same, um, just in terms of trying to read the game, trying to understand what uh, what's needed. There's going to be moments when I need to offer a little bit of balance and make sure that um, you know if, if you know and, and, and play a little bit more behind the ball in case things uh, you know turn over. And there's going to be moments where I can see the right chance and, and and drive forward with the ball myself or or move forward into the box a little bit late and, and try to now uh, you know be in that attack in third and and uh, you know be dangerous. And so you know, I thought. Um, as in, you know, most games this year found, you know, a, a balance and ways to do both. Injuries are a part and parcel of the game, I understand, but uh, is there any worry within the team about the amount of injuries that it all kind of simultaneously come up? You know, it's frustrating for sure, but um, you know, as players, it's simple. If you're if you're fit, all you can try to do is everything possible to stay fit and if you're you're not and you're injured then you're trying to do everything you can to get back as quickly as possible how are you feeling physically yeah very good yeah one of the things michael after uh, the transition from last week the comment i read uh, attributed to you i think and, and a couple of others that the practices were not quite the way you'd expected them to be compared to maybe what you experienced overseas just with all due respect you never n never heard that come out of my okay. mouth are you finding the practices better now? I know it's a short week and you've got games and it's very tough. But is there something about practice now that is suiting you, suiting the team better than it was previously? Um, yeah, I mean, look, before you even before I even get to that part, I mean, in, in touching on your, the first part of your question, um, you know, it's always important to understand that when in when there's a coaching change, when certain things are going on within a club, obviously. A lot comes out, and and some of it's true, but a lot of it isn't. And so I think, um, you know, I've obviously read a good amount of the things that have have um, you know been written and been said, and and I think, like I said, so, some of it's true, but in a lot of cases, uh, I don't know where uh, certain things come from. And okay. so, um, you know, I think it's important to to start with that. Um, secondly. I think in a in a week where now you're playing three games, there's always a a limit in terms of what you're able to do on the training field. You know, um, playing Saturday, Sunday was obviously a, you know a, a busy day. Um, Monday we came in and you know we're able to get a little bit of a, a of a sweat going and work on a few things tactically. Tuesday, the day before the game, wasn't um, is never much. Uh, yesterday, getting back from Philadelphia, we were in. The guys who played were just in the gym doing a, re a regeneration session. And today now is, a, is again a really light day. And so um, for me, the main thing, and, and I spoke about it earlier in the week, is just the way that, um, you know, in a, in, a, 
in a crazy few days, Greg has come has has come in and really set uh, a great tone and established a way of 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 working and talking about things and 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 trying to now get out a few things. And so again, it it, it was never going to be that Wednesday was perfect um, because it wasn't. But I think there was still a lot of um, a lot of good signs in terms of now a, a positive reaction. Um, and and now. You know, as the week's gone on, we've continued to to talk about some things. He's shown us a few things, both on the video and and just you know on the field, um, in, in terms of um, you know some some minor adjustments that he'd like. And and you know now it's just all about you know making sure that everybody physically is at 100% and, and um, being ready to step on the field tomorrow and in front of our home fans and, and really be ready to to give it a go. All right, Mark? it's maybe not sorry, just but just to follow up then. Having your experience, both here, overseas, national team, is this approach of Coach Vanny more to your liking, your more conducive to what you have been doing in the past? <clears throat> One of the things you learn very early on is that um, every coach has a different way of going about things, and so. Whether it was in Holland, whether it was in Germany, whether it was in England, whether it was two clubs in Italy, um, you know, even my time at Roma, three managers, everybody, everybody's different. Everybody has their own ideas. Everybody has their own approach. Everybody has their own uh, idea in terms of how to structure a week, the best way to go about things. And as as players, it's um, it's. It's our job to to adjust to that and to to um, make sure that whatever's being asked from us, we're ready to to take it and run with it and, and, and give it everything that we have. Obviously, in any team, um, as as older players, as leaders, there's there's certainly a dialogue that goes on amongst us with the with the coach. There was with Ryan. There is with Greg. And so um, you know that that's that's a that's a normal, healthy thing. And and so you know again, um, more than comparing, I think it's just important to 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 talk about how you know in in a few in a few busy days, in days where now it's not been easy because we've been playing and having to recover and then getting ready to play again. Um, you know, the the tone and, and the way and the presence that Greg ha has had uh, in all ways has been has been excellent. So I think, um, you know, again, it, you get to the end of a, of a busy week and I can only speak for myself, but I know that there's, uh, you know, a room full of guys in there that feel the same and, and that now we're excited to, to Walk out on the field at BMO in front of our home fans and and you know be ready for a big game. Thanks. How, how do you come out and uh, avoid uh, what happened last Saturday, the last home game, uh, to, the, to the fans? Or, you know, uh, it, it's almost you put on yourself, you want some of the players to come out and and then play with that with heart. Yeah. Whenever, whenever you play at home, you want to. It's important to now start on the right. In the right foot, start positive. Start with energy, um, you know, especially when you have a, a stadium and an atmosphere and fans is as good as ours. It's it's so crucial because now you want right from the get go for them to be in it. You want them to feel alive. You want them to to really, um, you know, play a big part in the game because I think. Um, on our best days this year at home, the the atmosphere uh, inside the stadium has been uh, incredible, and so you know it, it it works both ways. Obviously, we we need them, and we need them to be loud and 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 you know on top of things and on top of the game and 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 making for an incredible atmosphere and really pushing us on. And the flip side is that obviously we have to to step on the field and play in a way that that. Uh, engages them and, and gets them going, and so I think, um, you know, certainly the idea from us tomorrow will be to start uh, in a in a positive, energetic way, and 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 really see if we can now, uh, you know, get the get the place going. Given uh, Michael, given the coaching change, do you feel on the field of the team that seem to face these crossroads? On one hand, the kind of slope, the other hand is the other. 
The way that this league is, is structured and the way that it works is, is simple. You play 34 games to get into the playoffs. And after 25 games, you know, it, it, it doesn't really matter if you're Seattle Sounders or Toronto FC because the goal is still to get into the playoffs. Obviously, you know, Seattle are, are, are certainly in the running for the supporter shield and, and that's um, that's a that, that that's something a little bit different in terms of, you know, the, the consistency over the course of a season. But our championship is the one that gets that gets handed out in, in December after the play after the end of the playoffs. And so um, it doesn't really matter what's happened up until now. It's all about putting yourself in the right position. And so we're in a in a simple position in the sense that now with nine games to go, we need to win we need to win a few games to get ourselves in the playoffs down the stretch. And so um, It's important that the mentality reflects that. Nothing's lost. Nothing is, um, you know, the season isn't over. And it, everything's still to play for. And, and, you know, history in this league has still shown that teams that are able to, um, you know, go on a good run at the right time and, and, you know, win some games when it really counts. If you get yourself into the playoffs, it doesn't matter how the the season has gone. It doesn't matter if it's if it's been perfect in every way, um, because it's it's all about surviving and getting getting yourself into the playoffs. And so that's our that's our mentality. There's no um, you know, there's no worrying about you know what if or you know the, a game or two that's not gone our way. There, there's no time for that. Now it's just about. You know, again, taking each game one at a time and, and being uh, ready to, in in the right moment, win a few games and get ourselves into the playoffs, knowing that at that point um, everything's to play for. Do one you, more for Michael. Do you think this team is being outside the room is being underestimated? I I don't know. I don't spend a whole lot of time uh, worrying about. The predictions, noise the noise, um, what's being written, what's being said. Um, you know, I think it's important to 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 be aware of, of what's going on because I think you know, with awareness comes an intelligence. You know, and, and just a, a a recognition of of, of what's going on around you. You know, a recognition of, of of people's perception. But I. Myself in particular, I, I pay no attention to it, it, it. I don't allow it in any way to to dictate, you know, what I think, what I do, the way I play, the way that that now, you know, I come in here every day. Um, and so I think it, it's important that when you're going through a, a time when you know, we can all admit that the that that results haven't been exactly what we what we want that every every guy comes in here with that same that same mentality and is ready to you know leave everything else on the outside and and come and be focused and committed and, and excited about the the challenge